Elon Musk just bought Twitter. Oh my God. He owns 9% of the company. He's going to change everything. Twitter's going to become an electric car company. <laughs> Welcome back, Strongman Personal Finance, everybody. My name is Christopher Belly. I'm a certified CPA accountant. I'm a long term bubble head investor. I'm author of the book Stop Being a Broke Loser. It's on Amazon. And I am shaking my head in perplexity at the recent actions of our favorite billionaire. He's a billionaire. He owns Tesla. Elon Musk. Now, Elon Musk has been known to do weird freaking crap, okay? And I can't even begin to name all the stuff that he's done. But he just does very odd things, like post about Dogecoin, and he's, he has a hard on for Dogecoin. I don't understand why. And he's a huge crypto shill. And he basically gets his fingers involved in things that I don't understand to be relevant to his ultimate goals. Now, Elon Musk, you know, he is a visionary, and I don't hate him. I think he is a grifter, personally. But he's a visionary. I mean, he started Tesla, which you know, everybody thought he wasn't going to succeed, and he did. Still overvalued, by the way. Massively overvalued. He's set up SpaceX, and it's actually making deliveries to space. I mean, he's done a lot of big, influential, consequential things. And I don't fault him for that. But recently a SEC report came out and it disclosed that Elon Musk bought between 9 and 10% of Twitter. I think it's like 9.2% of Twitter. And I'm just wondering why he did something like that. Now, we know he posted a poll a couple weeks ago, months ago, where, you know, he was asking about free speech and blah, 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 blah. And he said the actions of this poll will have consequences. And little do we know, he was going to go ahead and buy freaking Twitter, or he already maybe did. Now, whenever I see something like this happen, my suspicions automatically increase. I always get a little curious about what's going on here. Now, to actually make a change at Twitter, you have to have a controlling stake in the company, or at least a you know, significant influence. His current ownership percentage, 9%, is not enough to really make any difference at the company at all. Now, if he went ahead and bought half the company or more, okay, you could actually, I mean, he controls the company at that point. But owning 9.2% or whatever he owns, that is not enough to make any difference at the company whatsoever. To me, it almost seems like he's doing some weird PR stunt that cost him over $2 billion to execute. <laughs> I just don't freaking get it, man. Now, another thing that really strikes me as odd is Elon Musk is an entrepreneur. He just founds new companies all the time. You know, he's, he's changed the world or he is changing the world. Why would you buy a company that already exists and try to change it from within, which I don't think he's going to do, instead of perhaps starting your own company? That to me seems like a more logical way to provide an alternative platform that emphasizes free speech. So it's really weird to me that Elon is going after Twitter itself. So I don't really know what to make of it. I mean, obviously, to me, it's a proof. This is more proof of the Elon Musk hype bubble that this guy can own a non-controlling stake. And by non-controlling, I mean significantly under controlling the company. He can own a very small fraction of the company. And the stock goes up 25% because he bought it. It's freaking crazy. And of course... If the hype keeps going, Elon is going to make a freaking fortune because he got in, whatever he does, everybody seems to love, and he makes all the money. And all you freaking clowns are buying this stupid company in pre-market. Now, I was reading a couple articles or skimming them, and it just seems like people are, you know, they're, they're projecting their irrational faith and belief in Elon that he's actually going to make a huge difference at Twitter. But you just don't understand, guys. There's so much hype and speculation behind this recent move. It's unbelievable. Now, one big speculation is that, well, he bought a decent stake now, but he's going to potentially buy more of a stake in Twitter. And that's going to potentially lead to positive changes. So the cult of Elon Musk is so strong that simply by buying 9% of the company, people are automatically leaping to conclusions about what he's going to do in the future and that all
all these actions he's going to potentially take are somehow going to make Twitter a more profitable company, which I don't understand, okay? So, overall, it's a freaking clown show. Overall, a lot of things Elon Musk does really pisses me off, okay? He randomly talks about random cryptocurrencies. He Everything he tweets is a freaking meme, and everybody starts buying into the crap. And I think you should be really careful buying into Twitter. I'm not a big fan of that company, number one. I think the Twitter's a cesspit of liberal degeneracy, okay? But they actually, uh, the competitor to Twitter, Parler, I actually opened an account to that, for that. And then, of course, it got shut down, you know, probably by communists. But Twitter's hot garbage. I would not put a dime in that freaking company besides what I own in an index. And especially now that Elon Musk is playing games, you, if you pay, if you buy Twitter right now, sure, the stock can keep going up. But if a stock rockets up 25% because Elon Musk bought a non-controlling share, it's probably overvalued at this point, okay? Nothing has materially changed about the company. You always need to look at the news and say, has anything materially changed about this company? And when I look at this action, no, I don't see the justification for the stock going up 25 freaking percent. It's madness and it's stupid. <laughs> and of course, I just heard other news that uh, Tesla made what, 310,000 deliveries last quarter? And of course, Tesla stock, another hype stock, goes up, what, four or five percent? Basically, they just added like two thirds of Ford's market cap in the span of a day because they sold 310,000 cars, which is right on with analyst projections. I mean, the whole Elon Musk thing is, I don't know, it's a freaking joke. But whatever. So, that's really the big news today. You know, some stuff I really don't want to talk about, but. You know, being a YouTuber, you kind of have to talk about all the BS and garbage that all these other clowns are talking about. And I really appreciate all y'all's comments. So keep posting comments. Keep me abreast of all the crap that's going on in Twitter or uh, <laughs> in the stock market as a whole. Because I actually don't have, I just don't have a lot of time to look at stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I wouldn't buy into Twitter. I mean, if you want to speculate and, you know, ride momentum and Elon Musk hype, Sure, go ahead. But if you're buying this company, don't think for a second that something has materially changed with this company because it hasn't, okay? The future cash flows of this company have not increased because Elon Clown Musk bought a 9% share, okay? The revenues, the projected revenue growth rate has not changed because Elon Musk bought freaking shares. That's not how it works, okay? If you control the company, maybe something different, but it's still all hype and speculation. Anyway, that's it. I'm gonna get some lunch and then I'm gonna go back to work. Talk to you later. Cheers.